Okay, so um, what we're going to do here today is do a quick walkthrough of GitHub Org Explorer. It's a little utility that I just threw together um, to basically help manage um, GitHub organizations. Uh, uh, so I'm a big fan of GitHub Classroom and I use it for uh, just about all of my um, all of my stuff um, at work and you know, I use it for classes all the time but um, but there are a couple of pain points for github classroom so one is well it is organization based so if I go to the hunter CS organization um, not the hunter CS organization rather the hunter classes organization um, you know you get tons of repo like this never-ending here you get this never-ending list of repos because I get one repo for every single assignment that has been submitted and that gets crazy big and in fact if I go to github.com I think these will appear um, you know if I go to my repositories I don't know if it segments them out or not in here um, well, I guess it does because it only has 51 here, um, but you get all these repositories and um, it's just hard to manage and it's hard to manage on two fronts. Um, one is you might want to say, like, I want to get all of the um, all of one particular ex uh, assignment and GitHub has a great tool for that. And that's the Classroom Explorer. And if you go to GitHub Classroom. just you know, that'll find it if you go to github classroom and you go to a particular assignment uh, so yeah, I'm not actually gonna go into these but uh, let's you know bang lab 12 did I hit it I thought I hit it um, it's going to come up in a second with um, with the page for this particular assignment and um, it'll have a, a link on the top saying download the repos and that will yeah there we go so um, download the repos and if you download the repos it'll download their classroom assistant or run their classroom assistant I can log in and I can pull out I can basically clone all of these and that's nice but I sometimes want to clone on a different criteria like instead of saying I want all of assignment three I might say I want a st all of a student's assignments and um, GitHub Classroom Assistant doesn't let me do that. The other thing it doesn't let me do is um, there's no easy way to delete the repos between semesters um, and I just get all this clutter. I don't want hundreds of repos. I just want to get rid of them once I'm done with the grading and all of that stuff. So that's why I put together this uh, GitHub Classroom Assistant. It's a work in progress, but I wanted to get it out there. So I'm going to give a quick walkthrough for this. So I will first clone this. I'm in my temp directory here. And um, over here, you'll see I, um, I got the starter code from, um, from here. Uh, so Ahan's uh, Shadow Electron Starter, which was very helpful, and I just adapted it. So um, to install it, you have to install Electron, so this pre-built. I just didn't install Electron, it seemed to work. And Shadow CLJS, which I'm using, and then NPM install. I have the other ones installed, so I'm just going to do an NPM, NPM install. And then the next thing is you can develop it this way, um, but you can also just run a build and package it. So I'm going to be npm run build, and that's going to do its thing here. And this shouldn't take too long. So we'll just give this a minute. And yeah, there we go, we are compiling. And compiling the renderer. Uh, so this is an Electron app, so that's why it's compiling the, the main and then the renderer. It's just how Electron apps work as I am learning. So this should be done soon. And there we go. And now what I'll do is I'll do this electron packager. 
and I'm only going to build the Linux package. And I don't really have to build the, I can just do electron dot and that will run this little application. And I can drag it up onto the screen. Uh, but I can here, I, it'll, um, it'll create this here, this, this package, and I can just run, um, where are we, where are we, where are we? GitHub org browser like that and just run it and you can just copy that folder wherever. So anyway, um, here we have it. And let me log in here. So, and it brings it all up. And can I make the font bigger? I guess not. Okay. Uh, so hopefully that's big enough. So I will choose a repository. So let's go back to Hunter Classes. And it's going to take a little bit of time because it's loading a lot of repos. Um, but then here are all my repos. Now, of course, I can do this like, you know, if I want to go to a particular repo, uh, like exam one, I can just click on it and it brings me to the actual repo. This was a this was the actual exam that I gave. Um, so I can do that. But the other things that I can do is I'll be like, oh, I want to get um, lab-03. And so now these are all my lab-03s. And I can use this to either export them or to delete them. Um, and this is a regular expression, so I can say lab-2 or 3. So notice lab-2s, and then we have lab-3s. Um, and um, Or we can just do whatever. Let's say I want, um, I have a particular student here. Um, CAID, I can be like CAID, and that's going to give me all of this particular student's repositories. Um, so basically, this gives me, and I'll give you a demo of this more with, uh, well, actually, let's do this. Let's go to export. So you see if I export, what it does is my, um, it pulls out the path saying, well, you probably want as your path all this common stuff minus the dash. So it's going to make that in my default path under temp, but I can edit it and change it. And it says chop because it's like you probably want to chop this part off. Um, everything you know, fall up to whatever um, because those are the parts that are different on this. And so now if I export these, so let's export and I'll open up a terminal here and I'll go to temp and you'll see that I have that folder that I exported to and I'm getting all of the repos and I'll just do an ls for um, you know and this is not perfect and that's the actual assignment um, so that's pretty much that now this particular student um, ended up transferring classes so let's look at another one um, that's only in one let's go to 136 dot slash Pro, uh, uh, T -R -O -L. I'm not, I have this as case insensitive. So now if I want to export all of this person's stuff, um, notice that it's going to pull everything up to lab dash off of it. So now this one's going to work a little bit better, uh, but let's put it into another folder, lab example, and export that. And so if I go into here, back to... Uh, lab example and um, then over here I have one two three four five you know, all of Trollicorn's repos in one place for me to work with which is what I want um, and so that's kind of really cool now I'm probably going to change this so in addition to chopping at the front I'll add an option to chop at the back um, and that way it would just be one through whatever so let's go to another one because the other thing and I don't want to do this yet because I told my students that I wouldn't get rid of these old repos till um, later in January so I made this one over here hunter CS um, and notice I've got lab blah 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 and if I go over to github and um, let's go to here and let's look at our organizations and let us go to uh, not where I want to go to let's go to my profile where are organizations uh, Oh, 
Okay, let's do it this way. Uh, we are here and let us go to the Hunter CS organization and we see we've got these repos over here. And so if I go here and I say, let's say I want to get rid of all of the ones. Well, let's not do that. Let's just say we want to get rid of all the labs. I can delete all of the labs and I've got to confirm this because it says I'm going to delete three repos. So delete and I misspelled it. That turns green. Bang, I have deleted them. And now if we reload GitHub itself, we'll see they are gone. Now, the one issue here is this doesn't, I could reload these repos, but uh, it takes, there's some latency between deleting them and the API, API getting the response back. And so I put this reload button here because I haven't had time to reset this, um, you know, to have this poll the server to see if things change. But eventually, um, you know, and I can also like poke around, whatever. Um, you know, eventually it'll take a little time, but um, those guys over there will disappear from this. And notice they are indeed gone from GitHub. Uh, so I'm not going to wait for this to happen because uh, this is enough of a run through. But now I'm just going to close this up. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. So that's GitHub Org Explorer. Um, if you think this could be useful, let me know. Um, yeah, that's about it. And um, I'm going to be using this along with GitHub Classroom and their, their own Classroom Assistant. I'll mostly use this to pull things out, like I said, when I want to pull out some reg exable set of repos as opposed to the Classroom Explorer. Um, I might change this to match Classroom Explorer to add the timestamp on the directories um, and to clean that up a little bit. Um, and I'm certainly going to use this to delete repos when I'm done with them. So uh, that's it. Hope some of you find it useful.